All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, been a few weeks here, I guess. I don't know, maybe, God, has it been almost three weeks since we put anything out? Um, it's possible. It's been very hectic around here. Um, we made the trip up to Virginia um, for Bikes, Brews, and Barbecue. Um, that trip was an interesting trip, to say the least. Um, I had a fun time. We did not win the show. That's what it is, bike show stuff. We don't really worry about that. Um, somebody smashed the window out of our truck in the hotel parking lot and we drove a thousand miles home with no window. So that was interesting. And uh, that's it. It's just been hectic around here since we got back. Um, finally getting, we're never caught up, but getting a little bit caught up and situated and back into the routine. Um, so I wanted to jump on here. Today's Saturday. Um, Gonna have you know we work a half a day on Saturday and usually do some shop projects and stuff on Saturday. So uh, our plan is to get a little work done on the Shadow 750 Pro Street bike. Um, that is the bike that we were planning to take to Fuel Cleveland. We have decided we are not going to make Fuel Cleveland this year. We are just too busy and. Unfortunately, everything is extremely far for us, you know, where we're located way down south in Florida. It just takes forever to get anywhere, and so we are going to pass on that this year, but we do have some semi-local shows coming up in the next few months, I guess. Um, we got Arcadia in November. Um, we have a really local, um, it's a charitable organization uh, for veterinary work for pets um, they do a poker run and an event every year I think we're gonna try to make that I believe it's I don't know I'll find out the details it's in August I think um, but anyway so we're gonna plug away on this shadow luckily it's not like a six-week deadline like we thought it was gonna be um, which is good because I'm burned out and it's summer here and it's hot as hell already so anyway that's kind of the the update for what's going on with us, um, gonna try and get a little work done on this this bike here this morning. Get the front end on, maybe. Um, we got this uh, one gauge system. I will. Uh, I'm gonna mix in a little unboxing of that into this video. Let you guys check that out. It's a pretty cool setup. I'm excited to see how it works. This is our first time using it. Um, so that's gonna go on here. Um, We'll see about maybe getting it mounted up on the bike and just uh, keep plugging away on the assembly on this thing a little bit here and there as uh, time allows. So, so thanks for being here and uh, we're going to get cranking. Alright guys, we've got our one gauge system here. Um, just going to do a quick little unbox, show you guys. It's got our just a quick start guide and then it's really a simple compact unit so this whole unit is everything for your gauges so it's a fully customizable system for us we went with oil pressure water temperature um, GPS speedometer um, what else did we get um, uh, tack input uh, I'm drawing a blank but um, just for a rundown it will do transmission temperature fuel temperature oil temperature it'll do vacuum or boost it'll do fuel pressure um, obviously it has voltage readout it'll do um, all kinds of dummy light indicators turn signals um, it can do EGTs, it can do oxygen sensor. We just went with the simpler system, number one. Um, I haven't used this before, I don't know how it works. So I wanted to kind of get a little bit less expensive unit um, and try it out before I, you know, do one with more high-end stuff. So um, it's got a really cool 3D printed little case with all your controls. Everything is screw terminal input, which is real nice comes with really long harnesses but because of the screw terminal inputs 
we can pop these out, cut the harness length down to anything we want. Um, oil pressure gauge, water temp gauge for this bike because it's water cooled. So we got that there. Also came GPS antenna, which plugs into the same box for our GPS speedometer. And um, what really caught my eye about this, that's really cool, this did not come with it, but this is just a little cheap um, Android tablet. And this is what your screen will look like. Um, I believe this is all going to be customizable. We'll be able to change it around however we want. Um, I haven't gotten really into all that as of yet but um, again what led me to this on the drag bikes that we run with the turbo fuel injection we use a uh, like usually a holly dash which is all digital and has a look like this being that this is kind of a uh, looks right, replica of a in the video bike. here I want to tell you about how to enter to win um, as I said in a couple previous videos we're gonna pop this information in the middle of all of our videos here and there um, just to let people know how to enter and it'll get people to watch the videos as you got to watch and find where the information is so it's going to be real simple uh, you don't have to buy anything doesn't cost you anything you just need to send an email I'm going to try to get the email on the screen here I'm not a super tech whiz so we'll see how that goes but um, the email address is pretty straightforward. It's Gaddy's Garage Giveaway at gmail.com. So all you have to do, send one email in the email, subject line, giveaway, and in the body of the email, your name, address, telephone number. That's it. Um, you don't actually even need to give your whole address if you don't want. Just let's scratch the address let's give your name your city and state and a contact phone number we're not going to sell the phone numbers no one will ever have them but me so don't worry about that you're not going to get sales calls i hate sales calls as much as everybody else but we do need a way to get a hold of you if you win so um again name city and state telephone number you do need to be a subscriber to the channel to win also. So if you're seeing this and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then send the information on over. So we look forward to everybody entering and we're really excited to give away this bike. Now back to the video. Uh, looks replica of a bike like that, even though it's not really a real race bike and it won't really be fast. Um, we wanted to have the same look and feel to it so I started looking for digital dash systems and stumbled upon the one gauge um, so anyway that's what comes with it it's a very simple kit um, as far as all the you know it's not a lot of parts and pieces and um, I'm excited to get it installed and see how it works so we may get it mounted up today obviously we're not going to get it working today because we're way way far away from the bike actually working but um, like to get the control unit mounted under the seat on the tray and uh, possibly we'll start working we have to make a mount for this up on the dash so once we get our front end on and our fairing and all that mounted maybe we'll start looking at the dash mount for our tablet here All right, I'm sure I've mentioned this before in other videos, but if you're new to the channel and you haven't uh, been here for any of our other builds, I always like to begin by getting my front end installed so I can get the front wheel on and get the bike locked into the vise on the lift um, whenever I'm starting assembly.
So we got our bottom tree on. We're not going to use these old shitty bolts that are in here. Just leave them in there when we do the paint work so that you don't get a bunch of paint build up in the threads. So we'll pop these out. Get some nice stainless steel bolts to go in here.
All right, so got our first little bit done. Forks are on. Front wheel, front rotor, front fender, all locked down. Time to get the back up on a little screw jack and keep plugging away, see what we can get to next. All right, so next up, we're going to go ahead and get our um, undertail tray fit. So I set this thing up to be held on with some quarter turn Zeus fasteners. Um, it's what's holding our body on. It's very common in the drag racing world. Quick disconnect stuff, so nice and lightweight aluminum fasteners. So these are the springs. They get riveted to all these plates that we've got mounted on the frame here. And then we can use the actual quarter turn fasteners to hold the aluminum tray in, which is going to hold our battery, our, uh, our one gauge control box, our ignition control module, voltage regulator, all that kind of stuff. Alright, so this is our little undertail pan. You can see we put some dimples in it um, with a little dimple die tool. Maybe you can see. This is going to be our Zeus fastener. Goes in, fits nice and flush, countersunk um, up in the tail. So now we've got our tail mounted. Um, go ahead and start looking at uh, where we're going to lay out all our stuff.
here. Put our battery right here. We're running this little tiny lithium battery. So that gives us a lot of options. We can mount it upside down, make the cable shorter, which will be nice. Then we'll have room for our um, little ECM and uh, our voltage regulator right in here too and any other little small stuff we may need. So that is looking pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our one gauge box mounted. It's nice lightweight box, so we're going to just use some 3M uh, molding tape to hold it in. A couple reasons. It does have holes if you wanted to drill and bolt it in, but number one, it's nice and lightweight. I don't find that necessary. And number two, I don't want to breach our undertail pan and have a bunch of bolt heads showing from underneath because it just won't look good. So some isopropyl alcohol clean that up so this stuff will stick and flip this over a couple strips of this 3M tape and uh, we'll be good to go all right so got everything on that get this harness kind of dropped out of the way for now until we start getting the rest of the components that this is going to tie into eh, maybe we'll just flip it right here that'll work to get that out of the way and uh, man I might mount the battery the same way be a little bit of a pain in the ass when it dies and we need to change it but mm, I don't know I'm gonna think on that a little bit and I'll make a decision should I go to the store and get you a hat no, you want to show them your bald spot while you're talking shit about my long hair? See, that's what happens when you go bald. You talk shit about people's long hair. <laughs> you got to. That's all I got left. That's all you got left. Is all I got left is to talk shit about people with hair. <laughs> Beautiful. What do you think, man? I think it looks awesome. Not too shabby, right? Yeah. I think it looks great. It's gonna be the nicest shave down four star. <laughs> So this is our front fairing, headlight, handlebar, mount, all, all kind of in one. Um, it still needs finishing work, obviously, but I'm going ahead and dropping this back on here since we've added the um, one gauge system. We didn't have that when we did mock up. So we, uh, we didn't make a mount for the screen at that time because we had no idea we were going to run it so 
now that we have that to run, we're gonna refit this on here. And uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and make our little windscreen. I got some blue Lexan, which I think will be kind of cool. We're gonna figure out what we wanna do for a little windscreen. Um, probably make one up out of cardboard or something for a template so we can see if, how we like it and then we'll figure out about fitting our screen which I think will end up laying kind of right here. So we got our steering damper, which is going to fit right here. And just want to put this in here. Got to find our spacers for this wherever they went, but I just want to have this so we can figure out this screen mount. I think we'll probably go right like here and uh, probably just make a little plate off of these bolts that hold this on so everything will kind of sandwich together. Should be a nice clean simple little mount and um, maybe I don't know if you can eh, you can't really see in here but there's like a little divot maybe we'll get our uh, on off switch and our start button right there too in that same little mount nice little compact compact deal all right just wanted to jump out here real quick before we wrap up for the day and show you the progress on the motor been working on the quick access clutch cover so we got the stock clutch cover machined out machine this piece which will get welded into the cover here eventually and uh, then we'll make a cover that will hold our slave cylinder once we find our missing parts bin for this build so also because we're running that little tiny battery we replaced one of the spark plugs these have dual plug heads I've run them with a single plug before no problem so we went ahead and replaced that with a compression release on this and we'll do it on the other side too so we'll run single plugs with compression releases so that our little tiny battery will work well for us and also we got our intake manifold tie plate done mocked up mounting tabs done and uh that's about it on the motor so far but just a little bit of progress from the last few weeks when we haven't been doing any filming all right guys that's going to do it for today uh thanks for joining us as always hope you guys are enjoying seeing this bike come together i'm uh this is my style of bike i love these old drag bike kind of stuff not something i get to do a lot not something anybody really ever asks for but i actually think i'm going to do a couple of these here in the coming months or you know year um try and see if we can't get a little trend going maybe i got a couple of unique bikes stowed away that will uh make some really cool pro street bikes and i don't know see if we can't maybe start a little trend with some long stretched out street bikes just fun stuff so anyway as always thanks for joining us don't forget to check out the giveaway bike videos um that bike made its way back into the trailer storage for now um as we get to our subscriber count we need, we'll get that thing yanked out of there and finish it up. It really doesn't need much at all. A couple, couple good days and it'll be done and ready to send off to its new home. So we'll, uh, when we get to 2,000 subscribers or so, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull it out and finish it up. Um, but until then, we'll just kind of keep it stowed away. So I think we're, I don't know, we're just over 1250, I think. So um, if you're hoping to get that bike, please make sure you're sharing it with your friends and 
posting it on social media and all that good stuff. And if you do, tag us so that we can see it and then we'll, you know, we'll know who's, who's sharing it around for us. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, we hope to see you next time at Gaddy's Garage.